Hi, welcome back for today's episode of Gear to Die For. Okay, stay tuned, we'll be back in a moment. Today we'll be talking about sleeping pads. I use this one for backpacking. It's the Thermarest Neo Air X-Therm. Now they did just update this sleeping pad for April 2023. So I have the older version, but to me it seems pretty similar. This one's just, a, uh, the new one's a little bit lighter. So the new one is 15.5 ounces. It is a half inch thicker at three inches and it has a R value of 7.3. Now R value is thermal resistance. Basically, if you're looking for a warmer sleeping pad for cooler weather camping, then you want a higher R value. So 7.3 is really good. Um, if you don't need that R value, then uh, take a look at the Thermarest x Lite. I live somewhere where it's cold, so that's why I've, this is my go-to. The sleeping pad comes with a repair kit and a stuff sack. I don't bring the stuff sack because that's just extra weight. I would bring the repair kit because if your sleeping pad deflates on you, it's a little bit of a deal, deal breaker. So I have seen reviews where they say this is too crinkly to sleep on. You can hear that it is a little bit crinkly. I notice it at first, but I don't notice it when I'm sleeping on it. Let's give this a blow up. The, the new one actually has a one-way valve so that the air doesn't escape. So let's get this blown up. So here's the Thermarest X-Therm and this is blown up now. I can hear a little bit of crink crinkleness, but it really, honestly, I, I really don't notice it. It does have a heavier duty 70D material on the bottom to make it a little bit more durable. And then the top is uh, 30 ribstop. And as you can see, I, I've had this for quite a few years and it's in great condition. So my husband and I, we used to bring the Thermarest Z-Rest. They're the concertina ones that fold up. And I never had a good night's sleep. Just always uncomfortable tossing and turning. Always feel it like the uncomfortable ground, the hard ground under my hips. Well, you know, this is just as light, if not lighter. It's way more comfortable. You can look at uneven ground with this. And this is two and a half inches thick. The new one is three. And just go, oh, no problem and you know you're gonna get so much of a better sleep with this. So let's uh, test it out. All right. Um, for reference, you know, this will fit someone about six foot. Um, there's not a lot of room, but you know, I'll do the tossing, turning, and it's a little bit crinkling, but honestly, I don't notice it. It's just comfort plus when you're backpacking. What I would recommend if it's, if it's somewhere where it's cold your warm air is going to deflate the pad a little bit it's not because you have a hole in it it's because the cold air caused it to deflate a little bit so you might need to blow it up a little bit before you go to sleep the other thing is for me for comfort wise i don't have it blown up as much as it can go i like to have it a little bit of give so that my hips can like find a little spot it's easy to deflate just I roll it up, just kind of squeeze it as you go. Now the way that it comes to you in thirds, I just fold it in half these days. You could leave it like this. I put it inside my pack because I don't want it to get potentially damaged. I just fold it in half. You can do it in thirds, whatever you want, and just roll it up. It rolls down to about like an algae bottle, so it's really compact. There we have it. I just don't see the need for the stuff sack because this just stays in my pack like this. Femarest Neo Air X Therm. You get a really comfortable night's sleep while you're backpacking or camping. Tune in next week and I'll talk about more gear that I love. <laughs>